Hi and thanks for watching. In this video we're going to be talking a, a little bit more about shooting your rope dart or your meteor. So in our introductory video to shooting from the hand, we were talking about only using the reverse spin to, uh, for shooting and we we're talking about making sure that all the slack is out of your rope so that um, when your meteor gets to the fullest point of extension you can pull it back and it'll come back to you successfully. So keeping that in mind, now we can run a few drills. The first thing that we can do is just practice shooting again and again and again until we get the hang of it. And this is actually a really good time for you to practice uh, target practice if you want to put up a, a water bottle or if you have a heavy bag or if you just have um, a target that you want to hang from a tree or something like that. Then you can practice this as well. So for your first drill, just practice spinning at a comfortable speed and then releasing and retrieving the meteor. Now, if you don't shoot again in the opposite direction, then you'll find that your meteor is going to spin in the opposite direction. So right now I'm doing a reverse spin, I do my shoot, and then now I'm doing a front spin. Okay? So for this drill, if you want to keep shooting in the same direction over and over, then you're just going to have to reset every time. So you're spinning, shoot, spin, reset. Shoot, spin, reset. Okay? And if you don't know how to do that, then you can watch our previous video about um, retrieving the meteor and stopping it during a spin. So you can practice that shooting on the same side again and again. Um, after you get the hang of that, then practice switching sides. So you notice when I'm spinning now, the, the head of my dart or my meteor is on my uh, is at the rear. My left foot is to the front, my left hand is to the front. When I'm doing my reverse spin, when I do my shoot and I bring it back, if I want to shoot to the other side because I just want to practice from this position, then all I have to do is turn a little bit just to you know, face my target properly so that I can aim and then I can release it. Or if I'm back here again, another thing that I can do is just switch sides of my body so that my left foot is facing to the front again, and then I can do another shoot. Okay, so that's a few options there for practicing drills with shooting. So once again, what you can do is shoot to the front, and then from here you can shoot straight to the side, and you can just go back and forth this way. Or you can shoot to the front, and then you can change stances, and then you can practice shooting that way as well changing stances every time you shoot. If you're going to do that, I advise that you practice turning both ways. So instead of just going in a, a clockwise motion like this, practice going counterclockwise as well. Turning in both directions, okay, and then shooting from there. All right, so the next uh, motion that we're going to talk about is called shuttling. So this is what a shuttle looks like. What you do, shoot to one side, and then you let the meteor, or your rope dart, go straight across your body to the other side. So, there are different variations of this, and build up to doing this gradually, okay? And so, the drill that we, I just finished talking about is one way that you can do that. Um, just to clarify, you start spinning on one side, you shoot, Half rotation, shoot. Or as many rotations as you want in the middle, but your feet stay stationary, okay? Shoot to one side, shoot to the other. So when you get comfortable with that, then we, we can take that half spin out of it completely so that you can pull it back with enough force that it goes straight across, and then you use your anchor hand just to feed the excess rope straight from the other side. So it'll look something like this. Shoot, shoot. Okay, so you notice that I'm really relying heavily on my anchor hand to feed that rope so that it doesn't choke and, and stop before it gets to the target on the opposite side. So that should be your, your point of focus for this exercise. When you shoot, you're gonna feed it, okay? Then you're gonna pull it back. When it goes to the other side, you're gonna feed it, okay, with your anchor hand, and then you're gonna pull it back. So once again, it looks like this. 
and that's your shoot. And you notice that it brings you right back to your starting position. So this is called shuttling. And once you get the hang of it, it's actually uh, pretty simple. So you can practice those couple of drills so that you can get used to uh, this aspect of shooting as well. And uh, there's still a lot more to cover. We can, there are a few other ways we can practice shooting from the hand. And then we'll start talking more about um, shooting from twining around the elbow, around the knee, around the neck, um, around the foot, and so on and so forth. Uh, but we'll save all that for later. For today, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.